Hey, Hitze here, and I'm about to solve another non-existing problem with a smart home solution. First of all, I thought that if you live in an apartment that already has radiator heating like this one behind me, you're not able to make it smart. And I thought that until last year. And last year I managed to make it smart, but I didn't record a video. And this year I'm recording a video for you, so you'll think, oh, I can make my radiator smart. So, this is how this works. Of course, you cannot make all of this thing smart, but this thing, you can take it out, the valve thing, and replace it with something like this, which is called Tado, Tado, however it's pronounced. See, this is smart thing, like it can control the temperature. So, everywhere around your apartment, you just replace this valve with this thing, and you make your apartment smart. And because I'm not smart enough to make my apartment smart, my dad, who's here, is going to help me with changing all the valves and everything, because if I do it, there's gonna be a bunch of water and probably a fire, even though there's not a... Let's start. Water incoming. This is the, the dumb valve thing and you just need to twist the smart thing on it and you're done. So we're gonna do that now. So this is, this is the replacement. You see it's like when you twist the thing, you should change the temperature and also you will change it with app and stuff. But first we need to pair it because there's some thing that shows here. So the shitty thing about this apartment, which wasn't the case with the previous apartment, is all of the heating is controlled from that. So there's like an on and off and the smart heating is not going to be that smart because at night you want to turn off the heating from here because that controls the floor heating. So the options are either the floor heating is constantly on and my wife kills me because of electricity bills or the floor heating is off at night but then in the morning when you wake up you have to manually first come here and turn on the heating and then the radiators will be smart and make the apartment hot so I'm gonna turn this on now so here right now it's off because my family is a bunch of polar bears and they're never cold so now okay now it's gonna be completely on I think so. I just remember that I cannot pair the radiator unless I pair the bridge to Wi-Fi first. So I need this Tado bridge thingy and I need to plug it in Ethernet in order to be able to pair the controllers and everything else. Okay, so now we're waiting for the connection to come on because, oh, there it is. So this is actually the living room one because in the previous apartment it was living room, now we need to switch it to office. So I need to somehow... Ugh, is this even possible? Okay, we have two living room and one of them shows this maintenance icon, I don't know. Device is not mounted. It says device is not mounted, which means something is wrong with the installation. See? It shows maintenance here. So it's not mounted. Or we mounted the wrong one. No, it says connected and good. But... Okay, we're gonna repair this again. So I'm gonna pair it as a new device. Register, find the registration information, start registering. Camera, and we need to scan. Start registering, let's scan the code. Scanning the code. Register. Style. Mount it back on. Remove the mounting bracket. The smart radio. Remove the battery strip. Okay, we did all this. Press the button for three seconds to start pairing. Device is ready for mounting. Plain display. Still shows maintenance. It's, it's showing some signs of life. But I don't know what is this. It's doing something. It's singing a song. And... There's something. There's three zeros. Okay, there's a little house. No, and there's off. off. And we can turn it to the actual degrees that we want in the room. So I'll set this to zero, to off. And this should be cold because right now it's, it's very hot. Just like these videos. Now we just need to move this into our room. Because room is room one. It should be add another room. Office. Save. Uh, assigning device to another room. Uh-huh. Proceed. 
and now this is in the office and it's fine okay this is not a smart dog <laughs> <laughs> but it's the smartest dog you chill buddy you chill so now we're just gonna mount one of the radio one of the smart ones there and we're gonna mount one where do we have a radio there I'm not going to bother you with the entire installation process but basically they're smart enough to control every room so in this room we have three radiators and they're gonna coordinate you will just say that you want your temperature in the living room to be 21 degrees and they're just gonna coordinate and see if there's only one need to only one needs to be running or two or three and they're gonna they're gonna talk to each other they'll be like hey you need to be 21 you need to be off and they'll con control your heat so we're gonna do that now I stand corrected. This is a smart socket and the smart dog is being plugged in the next socket. In the smart socket. He's charging right now. Nice draw. Zdravo. 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 See? N not very smart. But he's charging and he'll be smart. Okay, so we're done with the installation. I have all of these dumb parts here that are gonna end up in an attic or something because they were not smart enough. Look, I can, I can ask it a question. What's three times four? No answer. Now look at this. Hey buddy, what's three times four? Exactly, smart radio revolves. I, I'm gonna send them to college one day because they're so smart. Jokes aside, what I wanna show you is now in the app, I have all of the rooms. So we have the, we have the office, we have the living room and the bedroom and now all of them are off. So I can control them from the app. I can go living room and I can turn it on and I can choose the temperature. I can set up a schedule so I can go Resume schedule and it's gonna be you you can have like Monday to Sunday schedule like if you want to heat up your house in the morning And then have it cool off in the evening. You can have an automated schedule right now I'm gonna set it to off because it's Because it's super hot here even though I wear a hat right now inside um, And you will see like as I change the temperature here. It actually changes on the radiator. So I'm gonna show you Look at this I'm gonna increase this and now the radiator is gonna change the temperature There it is See, it just increases to 19. And then I'm gonna take it off and I turn it off. The radiator is gonna go off. It's gonna turn the thing, hopefully, maybe. That would be nice. There it is. And it goes down to off. But the important thing is all of them together are talking to each other to figure out the right temperature. Instead of all of them being to a certain amount of heat, they're just choosing how much heat do they need in order to put the right temperature in the home. Unlike these ones, you can put two of them and actually put them like this together. They're not gonna talk to each other. Look, they're mad at each other. One more thing we can do is we can pair this to Google Home so we can use voice control in order to change the temperature of the, of the house. So I'm gonna go in the Google Home app. I forgot my password. I'm resetting a password for a radiator. <laughs> Have you ever forgot your paste password from your... And I cannot even reset it. That's not cool. Okay, so let's just imagine this, that I'm gonna set it up with Google and poo poo poo, movie magic, ooh, it's set up. And I'm gonna say, hey, we'll set the living room temperature to 23 degrees. And Google's gonna be like, all right, the distance to the nearest planet is 17 billion whatever, because Google is also not that smart. This is not that smart. You are not smart. Only my dog is smart. Um, I guess that's it for this. I hope that I gave you an idea that you can take an old radiator valve and just convert it to a smart one if you only spend a couple hundred euros, I guess, if you have many radiators, or just make one of them smart and just leave one of them to be dumb if you don't care about that room. That's it. That's the end of the smart radiator valve video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you disliked the video, just dislike and unsubscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!